now let's uh, create some alarms so what we could do is we'll create an alarm for our ec2 instance so whenever your cpu utilization goes above 50 percent you get a notification so let's go to our running instance so we already have a instance running and we can go to monitoring and over here you can see that it says no alarms configured so i can click on this and i can click on this button create alarm and it will ask for send notifications to so this will send a notification to an sns topic so i can just create a new topic and name is cpu sns so this is our sns topic name and this is the recipient of the sns or our email is subscribed to this sns topic and you can also select any actions to take when this alarm gets triggered like reboot the instance terminate the instance stop the instance so right now we're not going to take any action so here is the detail like whenever the average cpu utilization is greater than 50 percent for let's say one consecutive period of one minute so anytime the cpu utilization is greater than 50 percent for one minute it will send an email to this uh, email address using this sns topic so for production you can change this to like 70 or 90 percent for two consecutive periods of five minutes or depending on your requirements so now you can create this alarm so this alarm is created and you can view it over here or you can go to your CloudWatch and go to alarms and you can see it over here and right now you can see that it's an insufficient state because it takes a while to collect the data or at least a minute to collect the data so it's going to be an insufficient state right now and once it has collected the data and it knows that the cpu utilization is less than 50 percent it will go to ok state and it, it is also showing that it's pending confirmation so i need to go to that email address i should have received an email and i should confirm that i am okay to subscribe to the sns notifications so i'll go to that email address and you can see over here that i have gotten an email to confirm my subscription so i'll just click on confirm subscription and it is it is saying that the subscription is confirmed so anytime a sns notification is sent to this sns topic it will be sent to this email and then we'll receive the email to our email address so now when we go back now the alarm is no longer in insufficient state it is an okay state and whenever the cpu utilization will go over 50 the alarm will be shown here in alarm state so you could also create an alarm by clicking on the create alarm over here the button over here and we want to create an alarm on our cpu utilization and we want to monitor that so we'll go to ec2 matrix per instance matrix we will find the cpu we'll find our instance id and then so we'll find our instance id so and then select on cpu utilization over here and this is the data from last three days we'll click next over here and over here we'll give the name to our alarm and if you want you can give a description and then here is the actual data that whenever cpu utilization is greater than 50 for one out of one data point and here if you want what do you want to do if some data is missing and we'll just select ignore and then so whenever there's an alarm you can take different actions so you can send an email to our sns topic cpu sns that we had created and then or, or you can send or you can do some ec2 action like over here you can recover the instance restart 
or you could add some auto scaling actions you can add additional notifications so that's when it's an alarm state you can also have uh, other notifications like when it's an alarm state it will send a notification what if it goes back to your regular state like the cpu goes back to below 50 percent so for that also you can create an alarm that when the state is okay let's click on this notification and then click on when the state is okay then again send an email over here that the state is back to okay now and over here we have one data point so our data period is five minutes so that data point is collected every five minutes you could do one minute and do you want average or max uh, so depending on that let's just keep average and then we click on create alarm so again uh, the alarm is an insufficient data state and after a while it will go to sufficient data and then we are going to simulate actual CPU utilization and see how our alarm goes to alarm state. So right now I'm just waiting for this to just go back to OK state. That would take about a minute. So now it's in OK state. So basically I have created two alarms on the same instance doing the same thing in two different ways basically. Whenever, okay, so over, but the only difference is over here it will check for whenever the CPU utilization greater than 50 for one data point within one minute and over here it will wait for five minutes so that's the only difference between the two alarms so now let's SSH onto that instance and increase its CPU utilization so now what I'm going to do is SSH onto this instance using my key pair so I'm on that instance so now we're going to increase the CPU utilization on that instance so I'm going to install a utility called stress so we have the stress utility installed so on my computer then I'm gonna on my server I'm going to run this command sudo so stress CPU 10 so basically it will spin up 10 background processes and try to hog the CPU and we'll wait for a year and we'll wait till our CPU goes beyond 50% and we'll see if we got an alarm or not so if you go back to your EC2 instance and under the monitoring tab if you refresh you'll see the CPU utilization is climbing up and it's almost on it it is 100% now so we should have received an email first let's check our alarms in CloudWatch and you can see the one that was checking for CPU utilization every minute is already in the alarm state and as per our alarm definition it should have sent an email or it should have notified this SNS topic which in turn should have sent an email over here so let's check our email and as you can see over here we have already received an email regarding the alarm and you can see over here that the state changed from ok to alarm we could also create another alarm where we can get a notification when the state changes back from alarm to ok when the CPU utilization goes back to below 50% or whichever threshold you want to have so that's and it has other details like the metric name the namespace the instance ID and all so this is pretty much how the basic alarms work and in this example we have used CPU utilization but you could have set alarms using different matrix and using different services 